All right. Looks like I am. Cool. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. All right. So... Let's, let's do this first. Cafe theater. I'm gonna go pick up my money from the cafe theater. Because I am low on cash. Leave wells, huh? Nope. Forty-three grand. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So. Does Nostradamus stuff show up on your map? Yes. Kind of. As what? I believe so. Yeah, it's the scroll-looking things. Oh, yeah, there it is. Holy cow. All right. All right. So you're watching my stream, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can see which one I'm going to have selected here in just a second as I make my way over there. Shady, you, you, you do see the stream live again, right? If I'm not mistaken, this is the one about the clock and stuff. This one, I believe. Are you friends? No. Saturnus. You have unspent sync points. I don't think so. Well, I'm sure I do. I just don't think I have enough to spend on anything. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so so, you so th are this one the... says... Well, it won't let me select it. What the hell's going on? Oh, here we go. I wield two blades flanked by justice and law, strike true and fair hour by hour for monarchs and peasants alike. So yeah, it's a clock. So it's a clock. So I want you to stand in this place that where the thing is and look around and see a clock. You should be able to see it from that place. Or fairly close. Hmm. Okay. I think it's over here. <laughs> Is this a clock? <laughs> ah, look at that shit. All right, encircled by 24 petals of light, our Lady of Rose watches silent as stone. Or believers below, look to the lady lit by the setting sun, look to the blossoming rose. Uh, so, do you have any clue where to go for this? 24 petals of light. Well, this clock ha has what looks like a sun around it, and it looks like it has 24 petals. Our lady, encircled by 20, what the fuck is it talking about? <laughs> and I hate that the stupid riddle goes away. Ugh! That's so damn annoying. Yeah. I can read it to you again if you need it. Okay. 
Encircled by 24. It, it wouldn't be so bad if the close the riddle button was not the same button as, like, every other command in the game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Arno. Why are you retarded? All right. 24 petals of light. Uh, okay, here we go. Thank you. Encircled by 24 petals of light, Our Lady of the Rose watches, silent as stone, or the believers below. I can tell you it's a famous so, landmark. In so, so it's like, well, thanks, man. So it no, sounds I mean like famous. It sounds like a church or cathedral. Because it says there will be believers below. Well, if you said famous, then I'm like, okay, so where's Notre Dame, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Notre Dame is like right here, I think. I think that's it. Yeah, the way you worded that, it was like, okay. <laughs> I'll at least give you a chance to guess. Well, because Notre Dame is a cathedral, so that makes sense. Yep. Look for the blossoming rose. Look to the blossoming rose. I don't understand what they mean by 24 petals. I guess it's the stained glass window up there? I can hear you fine. Hey, what's up, lady? Talk again? I mean, yeah, it sounds all right. It might just be me. I don't know. You are now at 200% volume. Hey, look at that. Okay, third riddle. I cannot read it. Uh, stay with Our Lady standing between flowering waters. Count one for each book of the something or other from rose to transept. This is not English. Yes, it is. Five arches, five wide open eyes, five nightmares. The last sit atop our treasure, the gate to the infinite. See, none of this shit makes any sense. So, I actually had to learn about medieval architecture. To like, like, learn how like to do flying that. buttresses and shit. So, a transept is—it's sort of like a flying buttress, but it's—it's it's a full arch. Okay, so I'm looking for. Oh, wait, okay, no, 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 that's not what it was. Um, uh, the transept is the. Uh, the cross piece. So you know how a lot of churches and cathedrals will make a cross shape? Yeah. The, the transept is the side arm. Okay. Standing between the flowing waters, count one for each book of the Pentateuch. The, the Pentateuch has five books. I don't even know what the hell a Pentateuch is. Well, I guess Penta is five, it's, but... It's, it's another name for the Torah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. I had to look that up. Five arches, five wo wide open eyes. The gate to the infinite. The 
Cool. Yeah, you kind of have to know about the architecture of Notre Dame to be able to do this one. Which is stupid. No, I don't want to interact with the stupid door. I want to climb it. Alright, well, whatever. Nobody even cares. Doors are stupid. No! Okay. <laughs> Why? Arno, are you so dumb? So I can tell you it's on the roof. Or at least a section of the roof. That's kind of what I figured. Five books of Moses in the Bible. Interesting. So if you look from rose to transept, I believe it means from the stained glass window in the front to the cross piece. So you count five arches back, and it should be under one of those. On one of the sides, I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! Holy snap! Was that actually it? Because it's been a while since I've done these. <laughs> hey, I got it! Memory complete. Saturnus. Cool. Alright. Next! Okay. Find another one. Tell me which one it is. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio. Alright. It's going to take me a minute to get there. I did I not hate, think I was going to get that. I, I hate these things so much. Like, yeah, they're they so dumb. So I liked the ones from, like, 2 and Brotherhood, where yeah. you would go into, like, this thing, and it would be a, it would be a physical puzzle, or it would be a visual puzzle, but a freaking riddle that you have to know, like, French history and, ar and ancient architecture, and I'm like, yep. what the fuck? Yep. It's, it's really not shady. It's just for an outfit. Well, it's for armor. No. Oh, exactly. no, because there are, there is no armor in this game. There is no armor. Oh, my God. It does jack shit. It's a cosmetic. That's all it is. And I was looking at it, and it's literally just a recolored, slightly reskinned version of Altair's. Like, they didn't even hey, try mom. to change it. Welcome back, Mom. They, they literally didn't try to Oh, wait, it. is it this one? You, I must be... I can't swim and look at my gear. How ridiculous is that? It's like the blue one that looks like all the ears. I actually thought that one looked pretty cool, but... It looked cool, but... Not... Like, they didn't even try to make a new one. It's got the same armor pieces. It's got the same like armor on the gauntlet. Like it might as well be all day or long. Yeah, it's this one, Thomas de Cornelion's master assassin outfit. Yeah, that one. I mean, it looks good, but yeah, it's it's a slightly reskinned um, at uh, uh, Altair. Like the the bracers are the exact same. Just like all of the it's, it's the exact same model. It's just the armor is slightly different and the texture. Alright, let's see if we can figure this one out. You won't be able to. I had to look this one up. Because it requires you to know, like, French history. I'm... Well, let me try it, at least. No, I'll let you try it. Okay. Yeah. At the foot of the Saint Twin Brothers, the Tree of Justice plunges its ancient roots scarred by heavenly wrath. The foot of the Saint Twin Brothers. Yep. 
Get off the fucking church, you dickweed! <laughs> Man. What are you doing now? I love how angry you get during The Twin Saint Brothers. Yeah, I got nothing. So, the church that you were just on yeah. is named after twin brothers. Okay. Okay. So, at the foot of the church, the tree pl Okay, so there's a tree there. Alright, cool. And see, it requires you to know French history to know that. And that's so stupid. Because it's not like there's a marker that says, oh, hey. Sanctuary of Bishops by Birth, Stronghold of Knowledge for Life. The stony edifice fools the senses by its name. Stronghold of Knowledge for Life. Like a school, perhaps? That would make me think it's a school. Sanctuary of Bishops, so originally a church, now used as a school or library. Bad. Was it, was More information that... that I got out of that riddle. Because that's all correct. Is it? Yeah. I like how this one just says Landmark. It doesn't tell me the stupid name of the place. Yeah. Is it the ch is it the the landmark that's slightly northeast from the church I'm at right now? Uh, maybe like a hundred meters, if that. That is the question of the hour. So it doesn't tell no. me. No. Okay. It is not. What is this? Come on, you gotta tell me what these things are. Hotel. Okay. That's a hotel. That's a hotel. You're looking for a hotel. I am? Okay, well. Hotel de Sans. This is... Come on. Hotel de Ville. That's where I would lean towards. Hotel de Ville? Is, it, that, cor is, is that correct? the other one. De Sans? De Sens? Whatever. Hotel, so... Let me read what the, the IGN walkthrough says. Uh, the solution to this riddle is the Hotel de Sens and the Arsenal in Marais, which is an art library built for the Archbishop of Sens. Oh. Well, how the hell were you supposed to know that? Exactly. Yeah, you'd really have to know a lot about every one of these French landmarks. Oh. No, Cuckles. Cuckles has a point. What? Sends, sense, fools the senses, sends. Oh. Wow. That was entirely too complicated. I mean, it, it's correct. But what the hell? All right, what's the last part of that? The stony edifice fools the senses by its name. The stony edifice. So I would assume that would mean it was on the front. It is on the roof. On the wall of a tower. So it's basically, we'll, te we'll let you figure out where it is and then good luck finding it. Yep. I think I hear it. Yeah. A square with shifting name replaced a field where sovereign was felled from horse. Now arches enclose trees where bronze horseman awaits. Alright, so a place where there's a bronze horseman. Square with a shifting name. Maybe this place? That's a square. Palace Place de Voges? That seems accurate. I don't know if there's a horse there. I 
think it... that's why they have the view database entry thing, is so you can, like, check. Am I correct in my assumption? You are. Okay. But, like, if, if you look at the map, it, there's, like, I think it's F to view database entry. Ah. Yeah, Shady, it's, it's not the one on the island. That's that was, for that's for the one. first riddle. That's for the first one that you do. That one I got. Yeah. That one was easy, because that one was just cool. like, there's a horse near the river. You know, it tells you stuff like that. It where everything. Tells you. Yeah. Look for a horse near a river. Okay, I can figure that part out. Yep. Let's see, how did this guy die? I can tell from his statue. Uh, this Henry the Second. This guy died from uh, old age, or or wounds not con uh, not in battle. Yeah, because all four of the horse's legs are down on the ground. If one leg, if one leg is up. On the horse, that means that they died from injuries sustained in battle, but they died outside of battle. And if both legs are up, they died in battle. Why do you know this? I don't know. Well, actually, no. There, <laughs> there is one foot up. It's There's just, a foot up, yeah. It's just not very up. Normally, they're a lot more up than this. Oh, okay, that was it. The, the fact that that's a thing that you know... Yeah, if you ever see a if you ever see a, a statue of a man on a horse, you can easily tell how the person died by what its legs are, are doing, what the horse's huh. legs are doing. Okay. So he has That's... the if the horse technically has one leg up there, that means he died from injuries that he sustained while in battle. But his death occurred outside of the battle, so he probably survived the battle and then died in the hospital later. Yeah, it was Henry the Second, and he. He got dehorsed, and uh, he died in the field after the battle. Yeah, they, well, there you go. Yep. All right, I'm let's... just, I'm marveling at the fact that you know that. Like, that's not something most people know. The, the, the statue thing? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I forget where I learned it. I probably watched it, like, on the Discovery Channel when they were talking about some statue or something. Yeah, probably, but still... Like, that's cool. That stuff, that that information never left my mind. I don't know why. It's just something that stuck with me. Uh, this is Terra. Terra? Hey. I remember this one being pretty easy. Yeah, I, I think, think it's. I, actually, I think it's only two stars. So yeah. I think I got the entirety of this one by myself. Well, I'm also not, retarded, not, so. Yeah, not to put any pressure on you. <laughs> Alright, hedged inner garden, okay, so it's a hedge maze. A winged warrior stands, uh, unmoving and unmounted, unmoving and unmoved, oh, at the cross's, at the cross's very heart. So there's a hedge maze near here. There, there's, there is, but it's not there's... exactly what you're looking for right yet. Oh, thank you. Yeah, oh, I'm just this... going to do that for all of them. You okay. should be able to see it from where you are. Riddle number two. Oh, you already got it. Okay. Forevermore, the warrior fights her ceaseless battle. She takes aim, her steady spear poised against the demons. Okay, so I need to go that way. I guess it's at the tower. She's pointing at this church. I don't know what that guy said. 
Oh, I hear it. I hear it, I just don't see it. I'm, I'm gonna let you search for a little bit, because it's there. Well done, Sergeant. You're in the right place. One less rabbit dodging. Shoot. I hear it. The, the last line should give you a hint. Poised against the demons. Ah, gargoyles. There you go. To be punished or be amused, the green heritage of Daedalus sees the lofty bishop looming, looming over the resting rook. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> See, this one I actually got. Because it's both... Greek mythology and chess. Uh, well, I know Rook and Bishop. Do you know who Daedalus is? Uh, I know he's Greek, but I don't know what he did or who he is. Oh, wait. He was an <laughs> Look at this Rook. He was a, an inventor. I guess he invented on, something, huh? On the island of Crete. Who made the labyrinth? Aha! Yeah. Well, I saw the rook, which is yeah, the you saw, which, you saw the rook, so. which is the castle thing in the middle. Yeah. But yeah, Daedalus made the the labyrinth. So. Daedalus made the labyrinth that the uh, Minotaur was stuck in. Yep. So the green heritage of Daedalus. Ah, the the hedge, the hedge maze. maze. And I would assume it's on the top. I believe you're correct. Mission accomplished. Alright, yes. so that one wasn't so bad. No. That one was fairly easy. Alright, next one, let's go to... Uh, let's go to one of the hard ones. Let's go to Capricorn. Capricorn, alright. Oh god, now I gotta get out of the stupid hedge maze. <laughs> oh wait, no. There's a locked door over here. I can all I can unlock anything now. <laughs> he said badassily. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> what is the point of the Nostradamus things? They unlock an outfit. So so nothing. They make you pretty, cockles. Oh, wait, no, I see the hedge maze there on my map. Okay. Well, I didn't really want to do that, but I guess it works. Kill the criminals! Later, sucker! That fool be dead now. You already are, Matt. I already are what? Pretty. Pretty. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, it's that chat delay. Makes it difficult for me to understand what people are responding to sometimes. King Minos created the labyrinth. No, King Minos, like, what, what's the word? Commissioned the labyrinth. Daedalus actually designed it. Oh, I believe. Get wrecked, believe. Mom. Creed's calling oh. you out. Oh, no. Greek mythology was like a, a thing I was really into back in the day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to just, like, <laughs> say, no, you're wrong, but... No, you didn't. I, I... You were... You, you didn't say that. You were correcting the mistake. Yeah. Sorry. Love, love <laughs> you, Mom. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> so he commissioned it and had it built, but Daedalus was the designer of it. Yes. 
Ah, okay. So technically, you're both correct. Technically, yes. Because uh, the, the Minotaur was. She not... says, she says Daedalus was the father of Icarus. Who? Yeah. Okay. I knew the the whole feathers in the sun thing. Yeah, he, he did both. Yeah. Master Mentor. He also created the uh, the bronze bull, and um. The what? God, I forget the actual name of it. Eriodite rulers of the facade, stone-faced before the blood of executions. One day, you will quiver and quake as your insides blaze in fury. Eriodite rulers of thy facade, stone-faced before the blood of executions. So there's statues in front of, like, a executioner area, maybe? Yes? One day you will quiver and quake as your insides blaze in fury. I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, what about... Is the location I need to go cemet cemetery... Oh, that's a cemetery. Cemetery of Saint Innocence? Uh, no. So if you... Or you die, so from, from where you are right now, there should be a square where there are people viewing an execution. I think it's here. I think it's this area. Is it to, is it slightly to my east? Yes. Okay. And you should climb up a building, and it should be on the front. Oh, of this hotel? Maybe. I guess so. Yeah. I'm trying to remember all the stuff Daedalus actually did because, like, I, I know this because I studied this because I'm a massive mythology nerd. Um. Oh, um, this is City Hall? Well, that would make sense when you say erudite rulers. Oh, okay, yeah. Doesn't make sense. No. Okay, good. I don't hear it though. What the hell? Oh, there it is. Found it. Uh, okay. That is probably French, and I don't know how to pronounce it. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah, is it, Sarah. Is it? Is it Sarah, Sarah? will resound a dire twist of fate to dispel darkness no more now to break the necks of many. Well, that just that just sounds like the uh, the fucking thing. Sh Shady, I really am a Greek fanboy. Like, mythology is, like, one of the things I love to just look into. You know, one of the things I really wanted to play on stream, if I could figure out a way to do it, is I really wanted to play... Um, hey. Uh, God of War. Ooh. I loved yeah. the God of War trilogy. Those were good. I'm assuming this is on the, uh... Yeah. What do you call this? Well, it doesn't sound like it's around here anywhere. Oh, I hear, I hear it. Ah, found it.
All right, Orphan Tower, what has become of the rest? The start of the Pilgrim's journey, shreds of memories hang from the Chimera's beaks. Uh, this one, pressure of the atmosphere, the other, alchemy. Orphan Tower, what has become of the rest? This is like a tower in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I think it's a tower that's not attached to an another building. Yes, that is correct. Good job, me. Ah, this one. There's a tower nearby not attached to anything. You know, this one was a five-star one, but it wasn't really that difficult. It's just... I think it's because it has a lot to do with mythology. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. It wasn't the bronze bowl. It was the wooden cow that he built. So, yeah. Daedalus made um, King Minos's wife a uh, a wooden cow suit so she could mate with a bull and then she got pregnant with the minotaur that's ah the that sounds awesome yeah all right so that one's done cool next next uh looks like next we got leo leo all right That was awfully kind of him to make another man's wife a suit so she could have sex with a bull. Yeah. God, Greek mythology is fucked up. It really is. Yeah, basically, Shady. Bestiality. That's exactly what it was, yeah. But then since he did that, Minos was like, hey, help me trap this thing that came out of my wife. So he made the labyrinth. Yeah. And then after that was the whole story of Icarus with the wax and the wings. And then... Why is Greek mythology was... so fucking weird? Yep. And then there's a story of, um... Above well, the it, it's, it's more of an anecdote, but... It's weird. Um, so... Nine after the whole Icarus thing... What the hell does that mean? Uh, Paste that in there, uh, would you? Yeah, I got it. Um, so after the whole Icarus thing because that's how Daedalus and Icarus are supposed to escape Minos' clutches. Um, Minos was searching for Daedalus using a Temple. riddle. That's not what I want. Giving people a spiral seashell and trying to get them to string a, a, string, a string through it. Tall square sentinel. Yeah. That's tall and square. In the ninth month spill his blood. What the fuck does that mean? What's the ninth month? September. Yep. That doesn't mean anything. Okay. Sorry. Uh, the September massacres were... Oh, that's for the Bastille. That was the September massacres. Is what... For the, uh, for the, the Grand Chalet. Not the Bastille. Grand yeah. Chalet? Is that a building? I don't know anything about France! <laughs> it's the blue it's the blue area south of you on the map. Oh! Grand Chalet. I know nothing of France. I'm sorry, French viewers. I know very little about your history. Yeah. 
above the dark shadows of the erstwhile bastion. The tall, the tall sentinel... The tall square sentinel silently watches. No. Fuck, I don't know. So, g get over there, and then... So I'm supposed to go to this building. Tall and square. Well, there's the tower. Yes. How the, <laughs> how the hell was I supposed to know the Grand Chalet, though? I, I guess that's I, the ninth I, month spill his blood. That's probably the part that... Yeah. The ninth yeah. month spill his blood references the September massacres, which occurred. Oh. So. Yeah. Wow, these are, like, crazy hard. These are super hard, yeah. I'm sure everybody that was all like, these weren't hard at all, they were all like the French players. <laughs> They're like, oh, I know exactly what this is. I know a lot... this in history. <laughs> yeah, I know a shitload about American history. Yeah, like, let, let's do this in AC3, and then let's see. I don't even, I don't even think AC3 had anything yeah, like this. I don't think they did, no. I don't think they had... Uh, no, I can't think of anything like that they riddles did. riddles or puzzles or anything. No, because they did in 4, but in 4, you had to collect items throughout the world. Yeah, what was it? It was the uh, the Mayan thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they were just collectibles, and you could see them on your map. <laughs> yeah. And then you just had to rotate stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, that wasn't hard. This is just ridiculous. Just go there. Mom's getting tired of my shit, too. <laughs> She's like, just fucking go. <laughs> just You'll figure it out. My mom's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear it. The martyrs of Herod in the Ageless Temple haunt the alchemist's tones with the macabre, soundless dance. The martyrs of Herod... I know Herod is a person, but I don't know what he did or who his martyrs are. Uh, King Herod in biblical times was the guy that sent the the three wise men. Oh, is he? Yep. He was looking forward to baby Jesus. So, okay. Gotcha. Where is it? In their ageless temple, haunt alchemist tones. Okay. Points of interest. So, the martyrs of Herod... Were the three wise men. I believe is referencing the three wise men, yeah. Murder, Murder of... the innocents, yeah. What's that? Oh, no, it's referencing all the, uh, the kids that... Herod had killed to try and kill Jesus. That's what it was. Thank you, Mom. Murder wow. Of I am really out of touch. <laughs> In their ageless temple. So there was a building over here that was just called Temple. No, it's not Temple. It's, um... What is it? Eglis St. Eustace? No, it's it's the cemetery that you were looking at earlier. Oh, it was the cemetery I was looking at earlier. Oh, Cemetery of St. Innocence. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Cemetery of the Innocent Saints. <gasps> yeah. Duh! When you think about yeah, it, it's stupidly obvious. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it is. But, like... Time to meet justice, citizens. 
Matt, go to church more. Matt, go to church, period. <laughs> yeah. Holy God, look at that pile of bones. Honestly, the only reason I know all that is because I grew up in the church, but honestly... Uh, Alright, final riddle. In the belly of the world, the saint of the holy stag still awaits for his austral hand to reach the godly heavens. The saint of the holy stag. I guess knowing who that is would be helpful? Yep, it would. <laughs> I, I don't know who that is. Can you tell me who that is? Um... I, I can. Do you want me to? Tell me who the saint of the holy stag is. <laughs> okay, Saint Eustace. Oh, well, okay. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> that tells me exactly where to go now. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, see, I never would have gotten that. Without... I, yeah. I wouldn't have either. <laughs> Let's just cut through the market. This market's much easier to move through as compared to the market from Assassin's Creed 1. Oh god. The old ladies just... Please begging. sir, I'm cold and sick and hungry! Oh god. You don't Flashbacks. understand! Flashbacks to wartime. I hear it! It's really loud. There it is. <laughs> Mission accomplished! Yay! Okay. Missions. Virgo. Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to mom not teaching me a lot about religion, now I can't solve Assassin's Creed Unity puzzles. That's the only reason. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mom. No, I went to church a few times. Well, I say a few times. I don't know how many times I went to church. I went to church a bunch. But none of it was ever any interesting to me. Yeah. And I even went to a non-denominational church that didn't try to so shove stuff down your throat. Eh, I grew up Methodist, so it wasn't too bad. No, that's not too bad either. But I also worked there for five years. And oh. when you work at a church, you get to see some stuff that you don't... You don't think should be in a church. All right. What is up here? <laughs> okay. Hello? Can I activate? Nope, there we go. Not allowed. In the sanctuary of sins, light and shadow dance and ignore the nobleman. And the ignoble nobleman defines say, his that's not what that says. Yeah. <laughs> defines his actions with his name. In the sanctuary of sins. That sounds like a place I want to go to. I like how some of these landmarks are just called landmark. That's not helpful in the slightest. It's really not. Landmark! That's like, uh, do you ever watch Blades of Glory? Oh my god. That's Absolutely. like, 
<laughs> That's like the scene in Blades of Glory where they're they're asking the uh, the villains of the movie. They're asking them, "It's been three and a half years since we saw you at the last Winter Olympics. What have you been doing this whole time?" And fucking what's his name looks at the camera and he goes, "Skating." <laughs> <laughs> Oh. What have you been doing this whole time? Landmark! Thank you. <laughs> it's very helpful. Cour de Miracles. The Cour de Miracles. Is that how it's pronounced? That's how it's pronounced. Court of Miracles, I guess. Yep. Uh, Sanctuary of Sin? Maybe that's it? Because it's a full of a bunch of poor people that sounds really bad i'm looking for a whorehouse but i don't there's no whorehouse like the more important part of the riddle is the ignoble nobleman part ignoble nobleman all right so define the word ignoble for me here the prefix ig is like not okay so the unnoble nobleman yeah is basically i guess ignoble is the correct way to say it but yes So where would an unnoble nobleman be? At first, think who it would be. Man, I don't know anything about French history. You don't need to know anything about French history. You need to know things about the game that you're playing. The only person I can think of is Napoleon. Go, go look through the database and, and find find you find the person. Cause he's there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna make you work for this one, because this one's fairly easy. <laughs> Why is this not in... Oh, there he is. God, there's so much information about people. I have to read through all of this crap? Yep. You really don't. You just need to find the person. Chat, you guys want to help him out? Mom, yeah, help. Shady. Oh, wait. Marquis de Sade. There you go. Ah, okay. Once I saw his name in the list, I was like, I know who that is. Okay, so that's him. And he hung out at... Uh... God, where was his house? It was here, but where was it? Was it this? It's Landmark. Is it Landmark? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one i selected but because i was like maybe it's just like telling me an important place but doesn't have a name for it yeah it's that's his place it's his name. help me i've been robbed i'm not worried about your problems now lady sadism mom throwing out the help there Hedonism bot. <laughs> <sighs> Lying in the filth, the folly, the fallen godly symbol lights the heresies of the false king's court. The false king's court. There's a... Okay, so that's probably here. The fallen godly symbol. So there's probably like a cross just laying on the ground. You would be correct. Get out of the way! I'll murder your family! Okay. This would be the false king's court, I would assume. If Marquis de Sade is the false king. Oh, and look at that. Holy shit. There's a giant freaking cross just laying right there. Oh, 
Okay, the familiar crossroad where decadence is sold, the sadness of the seller obscured by the rogue. Rouge. Rouge. Whatever! <laughs> That's not important! I'm sure it is. It, it is important. <laughs> it's very important. The familiar crossroad where decadence is sold. Obscured by Rouge, so that's red. So I'm assuming it's in this red area. Right? No. Isn't that what Rouge is, red? No. It is, but that's not what Rouge is. It translates to red. Yes. Oh, so maybe like blood? Mm. I don't know. Familiar crossroad where decadence is sold. So it's like hookers. There you go, boy. Sadness of the cellar. Yeah, okay. So where do the hookers hang out? Well, I know what rouge is. I knew it was well, makeup. You, you, well, you didn't say that. <laughs> well, I was looking for, like, more obscure references. No, it's the sadness of the cellar obscured by roost. It's hookers. I'm looking for sluts. Maybe there. That's a that's a significant crossroads. And it just says landmark. Maybe the sluts hang out there. <laughs> I don't know enough about this area of uh, Paris. Maybe the sluts hang out there. I don't know enough about this area of Paris, because this area was done earlier in the game. It's been a yeah. long time since I've been in this area, so... That's true, couple. There is a distinction. Wow, there's a lot of sluts here. Hey, all done. Woo. Woo. <laughs> I'm like, there's a lot of sluts here. Alright, so we're going to do Venus. This is two stars, so it's probably a bit easier. You say that, but I, I did, I could not find this one. You couldn't find Venus? You couldn't figure out Venus? Not on my own, no. Okay. Well, I'll give it a shot and we'll see. I don't hold up much hope because some of these have been easy and I didn't know what the hell was going on. Although I got most of that five-star one by myself. Yeah. So, so it was very strange. The difficulties don't seem to be accurate to the complexness of the riddles. Oh, they're not. Just fucking. I think they're difficult, dependent on what zone they're in. Like, there's five-star enemies in this area. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know what that's in reference to anymore. Pretty sure I've got it wrong, or I've got it right. Looks it up. Nope, I would have been wrong. I think that may have been when I was, like, trying to find flags in Assassin's Creed, maybe? Maybe. Oops, 200. Was it in July? Shit, I don't know. I don't know. 
That's why I like it though, is because it's so random. It's so random. We're like, why did we say that? Why did you say that? Like, oh god, man, to quote. <laughs> This is not some Chinese child sweatshop manatee here. This is an American made manatee. Oh my god. And they... built, built in the tribute to the sun, a square resplendent in nobility, three colors, brightens four walls, now bedecked with liberty. Alright, so there's there's a flag on four walls, it's the French flag. A square resplendent in nobility, built in tribute to the sun. There's a square here. What's the name of this place? Place Vendome? Uh, I believe that's it, yeah. I don't know what Vendome means. If it means, if it has, if it, like, means something. Yeah, I, f I figured out that flag one's relatively easily, because it was like... Alright, yeah, that's that's obvious. Three colors cover four walls. Okay, there's flags on our four, all four walls of this thing. Nope, oh, found it. Go away, case file entry! Oh my god. I'm gonna stab a bitch. You know, I would add that to the logs, too, but I think that's already a thing. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> Those wishing to enter the Elysium Fields must first pay the farmers their toll to pass through the Western Gate, where Triumph will soon stand tall. Arc de Triumph? Where's the Arc de Triumph? Is that even built yet? No. Can you post that in there? The riddle in chat? Oh, it's right there. Oh, sorry. Those wishing to enter Elysium Fields must first pay the farmers their toll to pass through the waste western gate where Triumph will soon stand tall. I'm guessing Arc de Triumph was here. Palace de la... Place de la Revolution. Concord. Louis the Fifteenth. Yeah, I think that's right. Because I think that's where the Arc de Triumph is. Was he called the Sun King? I didn't know that. What? Oh, it was something Mom said. Oh, oh was, Lu the was Louis the Fifteenth called the Sun King? I would never have known. That makes sense. Does it? Well, built in tribute to the Sun. Oh, well, okay, but I, I meant, does it make does it make sense that Louis the Fifteenth is the Sun King? I mean, no, no, I have okay. no idea. It, but in the context of the riddle, it makes sense. Yeah, in the context of the riddle, certainly. All right, it says something about West, right? Yeah, Pass the through the Western gate. gate. Okay, so let's go to the West here. Louis the Fourteenth was the Sun King. Okay. I want. Up, oh, I hear it. Plasma right. Dome was laid out in 1702 as a monument to the glory of the armies of Louis the Fourteenth. All right. Okay. Yeah. A most magnificent tower, his great granddaughter fashioned to surveil their subjects and the heavens twixt sun and earth caged in iron. Well, if this is the sun place, right? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, what's the Earth place? Twixt Sun and Earth. A ma magnificent tower. There's some towers here. Actually, I'm pretty sure there was a tower with something on it here. Because there was a gold piece that you and I had to get for one of the multiplayer missions up there. And I'm pretty sure there was a riddle thing up there. Not there. It's... I don't, I don't want to just tell you. Um, Magnificent um, tower. Hold on. Encaged in iron is probably useful. Yeah. Maybe it's this tower? It's the corn exchange. That's not very helpful. Yeah. It's that's the... not going to... I mean, unless you know like what I'm talking about, that's not helpful. I'm just seeing if chat can get it. That means I'm just looking for the magnificent tower thing. You want to be looking for encaged in iron, although it really should say domed in iron. That's probably a better hint. Not the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower's not even a thing yet. Yeah, it hadn't been built yet. Is it the Halle de Blich? Ah. Because it says right here... It says right here... Uh, As markets grew, the streets around it became increasingly congested. Shipping grain through the traffic became complicated and slow. Aha, yes, the corn exchange. I don't know where the corn exchange came from. It's it's the Halea Blue. Yeah, but I don't know how they it's, got it, the phrase the corn. Oh, you? How did you get the frame, phrase corn exchange? You just gave it to me as a hint. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. I did. <laughs> so how were you supposed to gather that? You weren't. No, I mean, how were you supposed? I, how were you supposed to gather that this was the source from the riddle? How was the riddle pointing you here? Is my question. Oh, because the the encaged in iron, it's it's got an iron dome on it. On the building. I guess you were supposed to know that somebody's great granddaughter made it. Yeah. Oh. The hell is that guy leaning on? All right, cool, whatever. I'm just trying to help you out. I, I don't want to just give it away. I feel like that ruins the fun of it. Oh, 
We're like halfway done already. Yeah. These aren't taking that long. Oh, because there's iron gates all the way around the outside of this thing. Oh. And there's the iron cages on the tower. The Medici Tower. The Medici Tower is near here? Yeah, it's right next to it. Oh, is it? Yep. I remember the Medici Tower. There's a lookout, a, a, a jump point from there. Yep. No, sorry, the Medici Column. My bad. It's like on the edge of it. I believe the... I believe the oh, yeah, all right. The I thing found is it. actually on the Medici Column. That would make sense, because they're talking about the tower. Yeah, the, the great-granddaughter that it's talking about is Catherine de Medici. Oh, really? Who is oh. the great-granddaughter of Lorenzo de Medici. From it's Assassin's Creed 2. It's referencing AC2. Yeah, alright. Which is stupid. But it's a thing. Let's do Ares. Ares? Okay. God, now that we were talking about Greek stuff, I'm all like, Ares! <laughs> Did you play God of War? I, I've seen it. I haven't played it myself. Oh I, my I never god. Consoles. The, un, in like the first five minutes, they tell you, in the first five minutes of the first game, they tell you who the, who the boss of the first game is. And it's Ares, the current God of War. <laughs> and near the end of the game, that's when Kratos is getting ready to fight him. That's how he, like, calls him into battle. He, like, just stands on a rooftop and screams his name. <laughs> Fucking Ares shows up all badass and shit. Although I have to admit, Ares was probably the hardest final boss out of the entire trilogy. Ares was fucking hard to beat. I wish God of War is. Does God of War have any kind of PC port? Because I would rebuy the trilogy to play it again. I don't. I think it is. Once a once Augusta palace become a shelter for the beautiful, the days of sovereigns tick along up to but not beyond Louis. Well, there is a palace nearby here. Isn't there? I thought I thought the Grand Palace thing was over here somewhere. Yeah, Palais Royal. That's the Royal Palace. I'm assuming that's where it would be. Uh, yes, maybe. Oh yeah. Technically, Mom is correct. This Ares is not the God of War. This Ares is a goat. <laughs> Currently, only have your chat pulled up because the stream is lagging, so let me take a look at where you're going. Well, it's called the Palais Royal. Mom might be right. I think it actually might be the Louvre. It's one of... Uh, okay. It's now a shelter for the beautiful. Like a museum. That, that also makes sense. Okay. Was the Louvre a palace? Yeah. I did not know that. I knew it had to have been something prior to being a museum because 
Nobody would have built a museum this fucking huge all the way back then. <laughs> Now I just have to find the thing. Actually, it's probably over here. Moms are almost always right. You are correct. USMS Suko, welcome. Ah, I think I hear it. Oh no, I picked up a nomad point. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who Augusta Rodin is. I guess that would have helped if I knew who that was. I don't hear the point anywhere. I don't think it's August or then. I think it's... I think it's Philip Augustus. Philip II. Who built the Louvre. Maybe? Let me look up the Louvre. Oh, I hear it now. There it is. Wow, that took me a while to find it. A painter. Oh, that would make sense. Because it's a museum. Alright, by the spirit of... Uh, Egalite? The sit... Sit... The... What? <laughs> by the spirit of Egalite, the Citoyen is welcome... In the royal garden, where the mighty Helios ignites daily, man's most destructive power. Helios is the god of the sun. Yeah. Ignites daily, man's most destructive power. Actually, that's not the important part. The seat, the Citoyen, is welcome in a royal garden. Well, the only royal garden I can think of is the giant garden behind the palace. The it's current... not the giant one. Oh, there's a little garden up front. But the royal palace is the destination? Somehow? Uh, yes? Yes. That will at least points me in the right direction. I know you've seen this place before if you've done the, uh, so the, throw my money in the, river. the side mission. Oh. Looks like he has. <laughs> and I believe Satoyan translates to like the, the citizenship like the general public final riddle from the stones of the fortress breached a concord built to span the divide from where the man, minds of men gather to where the necks are severed a concord built to span the divide. It sounds like a bridge. Wait. Built to span the divide from where the minds of men gather to where their necks are severed. I'm 
by Sounds the way, like... the second the second riddle where the mighty Helios ignites daily man's most destructive power, it was talking about that solar powered cannon. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. I'm thinking. Uh, hey, I selected this. Uh, I selected this item. Writer's mom's thing post uh, popped up in chat. <laughs> Point de la Concorde or Point de la Revolution. Oh, that bridge. Yeah. I that bridge, because the I know across the bridge there's a university. Yep. yep. Sounds, sounds like a like land. Good. Sounds like a land indeed. And they done be killing people over here. Dodging people, dodging people. Oh, oh, oh baguette. Other French words that I can't immediately think of. Oh, it's right in the middle of the bridge, too. Convenient. Mission accomplished! Libra. This is the last one on the north side, so... just said you can open the armor? Did it? Hey, guard no. girly. Maybe it was saying something like you need more to open the armor. Uh, no, it's, so, what, what it is, is there's three rooms that you have, like, little puzzles in, in the armor room. Oh, and you have to unlock all, you, I can yeah. open one of those now. Okay, gotcha. I love the <laughs> ABBA reference, Creed. Oh, it's something I posted in the Discord. Oh, is it? Okay. Palace once divided, united by the fourth Henry. God, my stupid chest had to... Po okay, I'll just read it out of chat. Stone couples salute their doomed king for his final walk along the trees. King once united, divided by people's will. W what? <laughs> Palace once divided, united by the fourth Henry. I ha I guess it would help if I knew what palace Henry the fourth built. Uh -huh. Angie, thanks for the otters. Oh, did she follow? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. The stone couples salute their doomed king for his final walk along the trees. Well, there's a bunch of trees here. And he would walk along this way to go to his getting his head chopped off and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe it's... Jump off the stupid building! Okay. I don't care that you took damage. There's a couple of stone couples up here. Maybe it's talking about this area. Oh, I hear stuff. I hear stuff, Creed! Proud of you. Thanks, buddy.
Last ray from the sun, he lost a son and parted from another. Cobblers, soldiers, statesmen, and horses cheer the widow's clothes, blotting out the sun. Window. The windows. Yeah. He lost a son and parted from another. I guess it would help to know who that who that he was. Cheer the windows close, blotting out the sun. How are you standing on that? Dude, look at his ankle! Oh my god, that's gotta hurt. How's his other foot planted? But that ankle, though. Last ray from the sun. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw that ankle. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the, right? That's like the level that mine bent when it shattered. <laughs> oh my god. He lost his son and parted from another. What the hell is this talking about? Cheer the windows closed, blotting out the sun. What? It's, it's the gallows. The garden. You, you were never going to get this one. Well, it's the same place that all the other ones have been in? Huh? In this giant garden? Yeah? Yeah. To, to the... Just, like, at the foot of the gallows. Really? How the hell yep. were you supposed to get that? I don't know. That's why I told you. There's been, like, three or four of these things that have brought me to this exact area too it's weird yeah. I, I was completely avoiding this area because I was like they would not have like three or four of these things have pieces in but, here but they would that's weird alright whatever The Magdalene looks towards death and watches the precision unblinking, and thus unmoved, she keeps her back towards the internment of her king. Procession. Pardon? Procession. Procession. Sorry, what did I say? Precision. Precision. Oh, my bad. Procession. Just... It might help if you say it correctly. Watches the procession unblinking. Okay. She keeps her back towards the internment of her king. So where the hell is the king buried? I don't know where the king is buried. That would probably help. Is the king buried here? Magdalene looks towards death and watches the procession unblinking. 
I'm guessing that's Mary Magdalene. Long way away. Oh, I don't know. Where is that? Is that on this side of the map? Uh. He, yes. The the north side. Is what I mean. Yeah. Um, now, I think it may be on the opposite side of the north. Yeah. But. Like, I think, I think La Madeleine Church is in the Louvre area. Well, the Louvre's right here. The Louvre's yeah. close by. I'm just the, the the picture on here is kind of crappy. I'm trying to figure out where exactly it is. It's it's on the edge of the map. I can tell you. Behind that. Notre Dame. No. What? No, no, no. It's on the edge of the map. It's in the Fado district. Fado district? So the when you look at the, the little map legend, it's the first line. Oh, up he up no very north. Yeah, 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 like north north. Oh, La Magdalene. Yeah. Or Ma Ma Madeline is what it's called. Yeah. Okay. Looks towards death. Okay, so she's looking this way. Oh, cuz okay. All right. I got it. I got it. And watches the procession unblinking thus unmoved and keeps her back towards the internment of her king. So I guess there's a graveyard back here? I think Look so. Look at that. That statue right there looks like an important statue. Man, some of these So many people on the streets. I guess. Yeah, you can blame me. I don't know any of this stuff. I literally didn't even know how to, like, give you a hint to that. So I just kind of... <laughs> like... I had to tell you where it was. Because I don't think we would have ever found it otherwise. Found it. So that's done. Um, that's all of them on the north and all of them in the center. So let's go and do Taurus. Yeah, it's in the very southwest. All right.
Oh, and you haven't done a mission where you learn about these things, so you won't know what this is. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I haven't. I've done very few missions on this side of uh, Paris, this corner. This one's fairly easy, except you haven't done the mission where you learn about the thing that it's referencing. Okay. So you probably won't get it because I didn't when I first did it. But nice. I just did the mission that where I learned about it two days ago. <laughs> and you were so, all like, oh, it makes some more sense now. It does, yeah. I was like, oh, those things. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because I think there's... Is there, are there 13 sequences? 12. 12, 13. okay. I believe 13 is the DLC. Okay, so there's 12 sequences. And yeah, and, and we stopped at the beginning of sequence 10, so we haven't done sequence 10 yet, or I haven't. Oh, no, it's a, it's a side mission. It's one oh, of is the Paris stories that I'm talking about. I, don't, I think I've done all the Paris stories. No, you haven't. Because when I when you were looking at the map, it said zero of four in this area. Sending signals through air made of wood and rope. Chaps' friends took note. Yeah, see, that made no sense to me either. Signal, sending signals through air made of wood and rope. Signals made of wood and rope through air. Yep. The only thing I can think... No, that's a story mission. That's not a Paris mission. What? I was thinking of the balloon. No. Not the balloon. Sounds like cup phones. Oh, wait. Signals through the air? I kind of just want to let you struggle for a while. Signal flags. But where does the rope come from? Maybe to get the flag to the top of the pole? Who's, who's Shap? C-H-A-P-P-E? Who's that guy? Have I met he's this guy? Inventor. No, he's an inventor. He's not in the game. But the thing he invented is. And I'm guessing the thing he invented is made of wooden rope. Yes. Fireworks? How are those made of wooden rope? Fireworks were also invented by the Chinese. Not fireworks, Shady. If you told me what the thing is that Shap invented, would that tell me where the, where to go? Uh, if you can even figure out what I'm talking about, because it's kind of weird. But it, it's fairly close to the start of the mission. Semaphore? I actually don't know what that means, Mom. Semaphore are the uh, 
the the flags that are used on boats to help signal each other. No. It, it is a signal flag, flag, I guess you could call it, technically. No, not really. It's not a flag. So Google helped. Oh, Google absolutely helps, yeah. Oh, it's not with flags, it's with arms? Yeah, I'm guessing the mission about this would probably be really helpful. Can I... Behind left, she says. Unfortunately, I don't know how much... How long ago he, she said that. Mm-hmm. Oh. What the hell is this thing? I mean, I found it, but what the hell is this thing? It's a, uh, I forget exactly what they're called. Um, it's wooden rope. And there's like a little light on it. And a bunch of pulleys. The fuck is this? It's a, uh, a, a shap, uh, telegraph tower, basically. It's a they pull, they pull the rope and the, the arms, like, swing in different directions. And it means different things based on where the rope where, where the arms are. Oh, uh, so it is sem it's like an early version of semaphore. It, okay. It's, it's an early semaphore, yeah. Oh. All men must walk through the gates that lead to the fields of war. Uh, okay, I guess I guess Telegraph the Shop was eventually just m just became Semaphore on its own. Okay, that would make sense. This all men must walk through the gates that lead to the fields of war. Como la F. Maybe it's this. <laughs> Como la F. <laughs> Technically, that translates to what the what the f? I mean, it does, yeah. That's not how you would say it in Spanish, but it's what it translates to. <laughs> not wrong. Your chest is full. It's full of love. Oh, French words. Well, this is the gate, I guess. Nope, what are you doing? Oh my god, you're an idiot, Arno. Oh, yeah, just climb all the way off the wall. That's great. Thanks, man. Now you've broken the law. Ah, celebrate your bloody neck then. Moral of the story. You know what I just realized? You have no way to grab the wall while you're falling in this game. No, you don't. 
Oh, and by the way, you're you're like way off. Am I? Shit! Mistakes were made! Alright, so point me in the right direction then, because I have no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, all men must, must walk through the gates that lead to the fields of war. Uh, yeah. Right back where the mission started and where you got the answer to the first riddle are the the training grounds the fields of mars okay who is mars the mars is god of war it's a war there's a gate there's a gate over there it's, it's basically just an arch but yeah it's a gate well that's vague very. That's a long way away. Yeah. I don't think this is it. You said it was an arch of some kind? False idols celebrate on the stage they entertain. Supreme is the being who calls himself so. False idols celebrate on the stage they entertain. What? That is not what I just read. No, it is not. You are correct. That is the next one. <laughs> Whoops. This one is also extremely vague. 
there's there's a stage somewhere in that field. That's I mean that's it. There's a stage in the field. It's on the stage. This might be considered a stage over here. It's not here. Oh. Oh. Well, now I feel silly. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. This is like really obvious. Schooled minds guide the tides of battle over the soldiers' shoulders of angels. They watch the fields of war. Those angels up there? Yes, they are. Oh, I just pushed a French guard. Probably shouldn't have done that in an area that's full of battle like this. Hey, I figured this one out. Yay! Well, I think that's going to do it for me for today. I think that's good. I mean, we got some good progress there. Yeah, for sure. How many do you have left? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, it looks like. I have Jupiter, Cancer, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Gemini. Okay. But yeah, I think we'll go ahead and stop it for here for today. Were you, so you were, you were wanting to do this again tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. Just knock okay. this out and then that'll be it. Yeah. Do the last five and then the uh, the three rooms at the end. Yeah. So all right, man. Well, thanks for helping me out today. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, I'll hit you up tomorrow morning. Yeah, sound good. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.